Ancestry DNA results came in. What did they say? Let's have a look. So, I've actually messed about with them a bit. I have looked at them, I'm going to be honest, but the thing is, my dad's results came in a while ago, so I had a little bit of a foretaste of what might be the case and what I might see. So here I am, and is it a bit of a shock? Well, it's a surprise, I'll tell you that. Obviously, I'm mostly European. That isn't a massive surprise. I think we sort of knew that. My dad was, I think, I think he was 67% Great Britain and up to about I think it was 23% 22% Irish and then a mixture of other things including Polynesian which was a big surprise he also had Finnish Iberian Peninsula Greek and um, Italian there was quite a lot of things and he had a sort of ping they weren't quite sure about North African European Jewish um, there was a tiny little like oh under 1% Native American but it was like they weren't really sure so they didn't show it in the main things and a tiny bit of um, what was it yes southern southern Asian which they weren't enough they weren't sure enough to put it on the main page so they sort of hid it you open them up so you put these things and then you can open them up you can open them up can you see this and then it shows you other things as well. So you go, ah, oh, what's that? So this is mine. And it says 0% African. That's what it says. So that's a bit disappointing because my dad had um, the, my dad had the North African. But I've, I've also checked it out on Jedmatch. So I'm going to show you what happened on Jedmatch, and I phased it. So ooh, something to come. Spoilers. So we have a little look here. Noises outside. So. Um, I'm going to just like look through it this is too awkward and you can't see me so I'll show you in a minute so Ireland 37% but you open it up it says 23% to 51% so I'm more Irish than my dad which means because he got um, between 5% and 30% and the guest 22 so I've got more Irish than my dad Irish also includes Celtic so that's sort of Welsh really which I am and I know that my, so some of that must come from my mother Definitely. Great Britain, I've got 0 to 60%. My dad had something like 30% to 90% and the guest 67%. So I'm not as British as my dad. So that means my mother probably isn't as British as my dad. So what else have we got? Europe West, 0 to 57%. So the guess is slightly less guess of Europe West. But, so there could be no British at all, actually, 0 to 60%, and there could be no European West, 0 to 57%, but they guessed 29% Great Britain and 28% Europe West, so what's the rest of it? So, my dad had Iberian Peninsula, and I did too. Now, they guessed 2%, but, but it's between 0 and 6%. So that's what they say. My dad, they were like, eh, I'm not sure about Scandinavian. They put it in his list, but they said 0% Scandinavian, but a sort of ping of possible Scandinavian somewhere. I got 1%, so that must be my mum. 0 to 7%, so, okay. Other Europe, other regions tested. Europe East, they say no, none, but they checked it and it was up to 2%. European Jewish, 0 to 2%. Italian, Greece, not to 1%, so they weren't confident enough to say it. Finland, Finland, which my dad got quite a lot of. Finland, Northwest, they say not to 1%. So, not Finland and Northwest Russia, not so much of that for me. But then, this is where the interesting thing comes. Now, my dad, he got Pacific Islander, he got Polynesian. But he got sort of ping of Melanesian. So, what did I get? I also got Pacific Islander, but I got. Melanesian, not Polynesian, but I got a ping of Polynesian. So I obviously got his stuff and then I'm not sure where that came from. West Asia, now my father got nothing from West Asia at all, but I got Caucasus. 0 to 4%, guessing 1%, so that must all come from my mother. So 1% Caucasus they guess, but up to 4%. Got nothing from the Middle East. That's still not everything. So what did I get? Native American. What? Not to one percent. Native American. I mean, um, Polynesian Melanesian was a bit of a surprise, but Native American. Now, I had actually checked my dad's results out at various different places, and that sort of came up in a few different things, other places. So that's 
Native American. So I thought, because that's a bit weird, so I thought I'd check further. So I, there's a place called DNA Land, which you can help, you can upload your stuff and you can help with medical research and stuff. And they also give you a little ancestry report. So I did it there and they said, there you go, Native American, 1.2%. And I got various different things. So it's like, well, there seems to be Native American in there. Odd. So, Jed Match, this is where I went next. So there's a thing here where you can do phasing. Whereas, because I've got my dad's DNA results, and I've also got my DNA results, what I can do, because my mum hasn't tested, but she wants to know what hers are based on mine. So we, it's quite tricky with ancestry because you can't really work out where it came from. But you go to Jed Match, and you can work out where it came from by phasing it and taking it away. So this is, uh, there's a Eurogenes EU test because I am, now this is the thing, right? If you add up all my European, there's 28% Western European, 28% like the, all the EU nations until now, obviously, 28%. So I'm, you add in that, uh, you add in the Iberian, so that's at least 1%. And also the Italian, which is nearly 1%, and the Scandinavian is 1%. And basically, I'm a lot more EU European, especially with Ireland, which is not in the EU. If you take it as Irish rather than Welsh, then I am 37% that I'm so not British, really, <laughs> especially with the American and the South Sea Islanders. So what's going on here? So we'll see what else is there now. In the EU test on you on GEDmatch, um, I have got quite a mixture of things. Native American comes up, so it's quite a lot of things. I've got uh, everything but Siberian, basically, and I'm sort of a ping of Northwest African, and so I've got a, a ping of Sub-Saharan African there, and a bit of Red Sea, West Med, everything, basically. I've got a little tiny bit of everything, according to the EU test. So then we go and see at my dad's. My dad's got, he's got quite a lot. He's got quite a lot of different things. But um, there, although a lot of things come up, Eastern Mediterranean doesn't, Siberian doesn't, and Sub-Saharan African doesn't on my dad's test. But then you do phasing, and you take just what I got from my dad. What I got from my dad is actually quite dull. His half is, um, is, North Sea, Atlantic, so that's just Northern Europe. Baltic, which is just Northern Europe. Eastern European, which is Eastern Northern Europe. West Mediterranean. Oh, and a little bit of West Asian, 1.23%. So it's not massively complicated. So that's my dad's half. But my mum's half, oh my God. See the rainbow? Look at that. I, it's just very, very, rainbow like he's got she's got she's got oceana she's got um amerindian she's got southeast asia she's got everything about red sea and siberia everything so she's got quite a lot she's got 2.39 percent sub-saharan african she i say she she might have more than this this is just my her half of me so my half of my that's not my dad's half i've so i've got it's not showing up in the results because it's only half of me, but there's, it's there. The African, the Oceania, the Oceania, Oce Oceania? Well, okay, anyway, that's all showing up. She's, it's just a big rainbow, it's all, it's all enough. It's all over 1%. Every single one of those things is over 1%. And they say on GEDmatch, if it's under 1%, it might be noise, it's probably not true, forget it. Now I know this is only half of me, but half, so you have to half that and, and sort of work with it. So it's half of all that. So you still got pretty much all of all of it. I'm basically the world. But I need to see my mum's now. I need to see my mum's because my mother seems to have everybody in the world in her genes. And that's going to be twice as much when you see... I mean, that... I don't know that it what That's a mixture of both her sides. So it might just be that I've got all the one side that's very, very diverse and then her other half is, is just like Western European. So I'm basically more EU than not. I'm also strangely, really bizarrely, 
a little bit Native American. Now, I don't know whether that's South America or North America, but it seems to be coming from my mother's side. My mother's side is quite interesting because there seems to be a lot more diversity in it. I was doing her family tree and I stumbled into a person that led back to many different people and they kept going and it seemed to be... I think I must have done it wrong because I found all like kings and stuff and I think that's probably not actually likely. I don't think it is. But then again, there seems to be a lot of people from various different places that aren't so much in my dad's side who as far as I can see there's probably probably somebody from Polynesia that stumbled in there. So there's about on EU there's about 20% on his side that is possibly not European but it's just it's in dispute but there's just a lot of mixture in my mother's so there's a lot of mixture that you can't really tell in mine as well but even on ancestry and on uh, DNA land it's just Native American I mean 1.2 percent that's quite far back really you see are you you inherit 50% from your parents and 25% and from each of their parents and blah, 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 blah. So that's, that's probably not that far back, actually. That's only probably 200 years. That's not that far back, really. I wonder who it was. It's, it's intriguing. All right, well, I'm going to do more research. I'm going to discount all the royal family because I think I've definitely done something wrong. That doesn't make any sense. It's just stupid. Stupid of me to even think. But I did find some interesting people, if it's true, which I'm not sure about. Because you go back a certain amount of time and the paper trail is a little bit... The fact they can't find some... You know, the person that's the oldest in the world... If you're older than 120, they're not sure that that's true because they can't... It's difficult to find anyone past 120, really. But... I'm Native American! I probably shouldn't go around telling people that. They'd probably just look at me like, yeah, really? I'm everything. <laughs> it's basically what it is. I'm everything. Hey, I'm the world. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.